And the main issue, Your Excellency, one of the most uh, pressing issue for the residents of this area, ni barabara imetajwa na governor na wale viongozi wengine. Hii barabara kutoka Idagani, kuja hapa Gorika, kuenda mpaka Kanyereli. Your Excellency, hawa zee wakati tulioka, tulika chini, waniuliza maswali mawili matatu. Ya kawanza wakasema, wae unatukalisha chini, unasema mulikuwa mulasoma na ligiji. Na nikweli, tulikuwa university semia na ligiji. Wae unasemanga mulikuwa kamati moja bunge na ligiji. Na nikweli, tulikuwa kamati moja barabara ukubunge. Ukup, Wae unafikia ligiji. Hii barabara, and yet, your excellence, Gorika, this area you are seeing, it is the most productive area in Olkarao constituency. Lakini wakati ambua, this road is impossible. Your Excellency, me I know, with your intervention, we can actually salvage this road. And if there is a problem between Gilgil and Nakuru, actually, this is what we call a security road. If it's taken up, I remember the late Honorable Kainange, God rest his soul in peace. We had initiated that because if there is a problem on the main highway, people from Gilgil can divert and come out from uh, Idagani, then onwards to Nakuru. So, it is a key a security road. So, Your Excellency, please, you can hear all the leaders who have stood here, they have mentioned that road, and I think it is one road which is very, very dear to the residents of this area. Your Excellency, and I must thank you and His Excellency. For sababu, you remember when you were in Jabini, when we went to rest our mom, I talked about electricity connectivity, and for sure, Mzee Kiabati is here, as we are talking today, hako na stima. Na mina sema asanti kwenye. Kwa sababu na jua hilo kitu kumipanya hivi, na kiabati akapata stima. Hile vile, ata huu mzee kiboko, kwa ke hiko stima. The only issue, your excellence, for kiabati is area, which is shamuka, walitambazia wale wanaichi wengine around the area. Hile tulienda shakora, kwea huu uh, mzee amirana hapa comes from, it's only four people. You are two or two, one name, walipata stima. Pesa ikaisha. Your Excellency, now that you have come to this area, mimi na juu kisiropa hapa, kafadhali, guza hao watu. Na vile vile, na pia uh, bishop aliongia maneno ya hiyo bohol, hiyo area ya shakora, I think, tuki wachimbia bohol, it will go to a very large extent, kusovi yo maneno ya maji within shakora area. Na shamuka pia, kuna spring na tuanga maji chivi, hawa anaichi wa shamuka, walikuwa wanaomba kama tu tunaweza wapatia mifereji tutamaze hiyo maji ndio anze kukunya maji safi and i know you are very much capable of that your excellency ile ingine which has been a very hot issue in this area ni maneno ya mungu farm i think you heard about it ni maneno ya mungu farm your excellency hiyo shamba kuna wale wanaishi huko and the owner ule msichana wa mungu we had come to an agreement that they were going to sell that land, but the government was supposed, of course, to, supposed to uh, to compensate them. And it went to a point it can hit a snag. There is a time to go very progressive, almost going to the end. Lakini siju vile mambo ilienda, hiyo hata pesa ilikuwa imetengwa, ilikuwa imelekwa kando. Lakini something somewhere happened, and your excellency, I actually request at uh, Napochitai, kukuje na senator, na few officials from Mohu Farm, to kwereze hiyo maneno, tuone kama, and I know, serekali yako na rais, mukiweka pesa kando, tutaheza so, we have almost six, seven hundred thousand people living within Mohufa. Na, Your Excellency, hiyo shamba, if we solve that issue, na yyo tutakua tumeguza hao wakaji wa eneo hiyo. Mwaba hii barabara, kutoka idangani, gurika, kajwere, mpaka kanyereri. Hiyo neo mulenda? Uwe kia na hoo uke Nyabe kwe mai jini ya moke magishole madime Nushoke o kahora O kahora tumisha nijebesha Muko na shida ya mabarabara kachi Hii mabarabara yote imesimama Mambo yote likuwa imeenda mzuri mpaka Tulisimu tulipata hardship Hii mabarabara yote ikasimama All of them all projects in this region came to a halt. Dio sahi rais na mimi tunahaza kufufua. So wacha kiarawa kuje, tutore iyo barabara, tutawogea na rais, 
tutaitafutia pesa na hiyo barabara tutajenga. Kwa hivyo hapo kwa hiyo kijiji ya huyo mzee ita kwa ya eh? cha chakora nitatuma watu wiki hii. Tutiwe bwao na siku wa mzee peke yake watu yeye ya kijiji yote na tutaweka ile ya sola hiyo isikuwe na gharama. Sio tumekubaliana. Bas mambo ya IDP Karao amesema hii kambi iko hapa ni kweli ni aibu kwetu. And what happened Karao you know you say you don't know what went wrong. Our president then who Kenyatta lost focus. Akaenda kwa mambo ya BBI and as useless things. That is why all these in temple was stop. Wewe Karao kuja tukuvue hiyo maneno, tulipe hiyo shamba, tupatie watu mashamba yao waendelee na maisha yao. Acha tufanye hiyo kazi.